Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, Adventures of My Deuce. Anyway, I'm Bill. Today, uh, I see a lot of, a lot of comments on uh, Facebook about these tube tires, tube, and these wheels. Keep calling them the uh, uh, suicide wheels, and they're not. These are just a locking ring style wheel, which you will find on every tube type wheel. Now there are tubeless wheels, and there's tube type wheels. They are different. A lot of people will run the uh, the tube or the uh, tubeless tires on a tube type wheel, and for the most part, it it works. Uh, of course, they got to run a tube in there because these tube type wheels will not uh, hold air. <laughs> so anyway, uh, today I am going to break down one of these 900 or 920s, not R, no. Uh, I've got two wheels sitting over here that needs broke down. Uh, the stuff that you will need, you need two bars. You need one, this is a locking ring bar. Uh, I don't know the exact name of it, but uh, this really helps otherwise. You can get it done with other stuff I have, uh, long screwdrivers, whatever. And then you need a, a nice, bigger bar. Uh, you also need a slide hammer. Uh, all of this I bought off Amazon. Uh, it's kind of expensive. I don't know why, but it is. But anyway, uh, first step, we got to let the air out. And quickest way is to go ahead and pull the valve stem from the valve port. So, I didn't want to get ahead of anything, so that's why I'm doing everything. This may be a long video. You do have to make sure all the air is out, otherwise you'll just be battling it until all the air is out. So I'm kind of, I tend to be a little bit on the lazy side. Uh, that's what happens when you get 52 years old. All right. So first step, all we're doing, because this lock ring is pretty tied up against this wheel or up against this tire, I'm sorry. So we just need to knock this tire down off this locking ring so we can get it off a lot easier. So, we're gonna, we'll try to do this with one, well, try to not miss. Just gonna work your way around. I'm going to tell you, these guys, we're going to tire shop, don't get paid near enough money. Not near enough. So this comes off here. Gonna be editing this video. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. Watch. 
get it started. You're gonna make sure it's not rusted out. I mean, it's gonna have rust on it. Make sure it's pretty solid. Because if they've been sitting in the water or in the mud or wherever, there's no telling what kind of shape these are gonna be in. But, and also, when you take it out, you can pretty much tell this ring should hold it's uh, roundness pretty easy, pretty, pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna take that off. Then we'll get you flip the darn thing over. I like to let this kind of slam down so maybe it'll come off on its own. After that is off, you're gonna flip it, you're gonna get it back up. Okay, you're gonna start. I'm trying to remember here. Uh, I'm gonna want the valve stem up to the top. Because. That is the breakdown. Now, you're gonna wanna take a wire brush and uh, clean out around where that ring is gonna seat at. Make sure there's no rust uh, or whatnot on that. I'm probably gonna go ahead and paint 
this one while I got it off. So anyway, just wanted to show that quick little video how easy it is. I hope uh, y'all appreciated that because <sighs> I need a nap. Yeah, anyway. Y'all enjoy. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave your comments down below. Um, anyway, I hope y'all have a, a great day. Thanks.